Knut was born in Denmark, but it is not known the exact date of his birth, he was the son of Swain Forkbeard, who was the king of Denmark. His mother was a noblewoman named Sigrid the Haughty. Canute had a sister named Estrid. Canute became the king of England in 1016, after his father Swain Fortbeard died. This was after Swain had conquered England from the Anglo-Saxon king, Ethelred the Unready. Canute's rival for the throne was Ethelred's son, Edmund Ironside. The two sides fought several battles, and after a hard-fought campaign, Canute emerged victorious. In addition to England, Canute also ruled Denmark and Norway, which he had inherited from his father. He was the first Danish king to have control over all three countries at the same time, and he created a powerful Nordic empire. Canute was known as a strong and effective ruler, and his reign brought a period of stability and prosperity to his kingdoms. Canute was a skilled military commander, and he used both force and diplomacy to expand his empire. He led several successful campaigns in England and Scotland, and he also made alliances with other rulers in Europe. In addition to his military accomplishments, Canute was also a skilled administrator who established a strong system of government and taxation. Canute was a Christian, and he supported the church by building churches and monasteries and promoting Christian education. He also made several trips to Rome, where he met with the Pope and strengthened his ties to the Catholic Church. Canute was known for his piety and devotion to the Christian faith, and he was often seen attending religious services and participating in church activities. Canute was also known for his fairness and justice. He established a strong legal system that was based on English common law, and he worked to ensure that his subjects received fair treatment. He was especially concerned with protecting the rights of the poor and disadvantaged, and he implemented several reforms to help them. Canute was married twice. His first wife was Aelf Gifu of Northampton, with whom he had two sons, Swain and Harold. His second wife was Emma of Normandy, who had previously been married to his rival, King Ethelred the Unready. Emma was the mother of two sons, Half Aknut and Edward the Confessor. Canute's sons would go on to become kings of England, and his descendants would rule over England for several generations. Swain became the king of Norway after Canute's death, while Harold became the king of England. Half Aknut also briefly became the king of England, but he died without an heir. Canute was a patron of the arts, and he supported the development of literature, music, and architecture. He commissioned the building of many churches and cathedrals, including the famous Winchester Cathedral. He also supported the work of several poets and writers, including the Anglo-Saxon poet, Wolfstan. Canute was a great builder, and he oversaw several construction projects throughout his empire. He built many new towns and cities, and he improved the infrastructure by building roads and bridges. He also established a strong navy, which he used to protect his territories and expand his influence. Canute was known for his humility, and he once famously demonstrated his lack of power over nature by commanding the tide to stop. This story is often told to illustrate his wisdom and humility, and it is a reminder that even the most powerful rulers are subject to the laws of nature. Canute's reign brought a period of stability and prosperity to England, Denmark, and Norway. He was a strong and effective ruler who worked to promote peace and stability in his kingdoms. He implemented several reforms to improve the lives of his subjects, and he worked to create a fair and just society. Canute was also known for his love of learning. He supported the development of education and scholarship, and he was a patron of several universities and schools. He believed that education was essential for the development of his kingdoms, and he worked to ensure that his subjects had access to the knowledge they needed to succeed. Canute was a devout Christian, and he believed that the church was essential for the well-being of his kingdoms. He supported the work of the church by building churches and monasteries, and he encouraged the spread of the Christian faith. He was known for his piety and devotion, and he was often seen attending religious services and participating in church activities. Canute was also a skilled diplomat, and he worked to maintain peaceful relations with other rulers in Europe. He made several alliances and partnerships, and he worked to promote trade and commerce between his kingdoms and other countries. Canute's legacy lives on today, and he is remembered as one of the greatest kings in Danish and English history. His reign was a period of great prosperity and cultural development, and he left a lasting impact on his kingdoms. His descendants would go on to rule over England for several generations, and his legacy would continue to shape the course of European history for centuries to come. Canute died in 1035, and he was buried in Winchester Cathedral. His son, Harold, succeeded him as the King of England, while his other sons went on to rule over Denmark and Norway. Canute was mourned by his subjects, who remembered him as a great king and a wise leader. 
Canute was a complex figure, and his legacy has been the subject of much debate and interpretation over the years. Some historians view him as a ruthless conqueror who used force to achieve his goals, while others see him as a visionary leader who worked to create a fair and just society. Regardless of how he is viewed, there is no denying the impact that he had on the course of European history. Canute's story has inspired many works of literature and art over the years. He has been the subject of countless books, poems, and songs, and his legend continues to captivate audiences today. His story is a reminder of the power of leadership and the impact that one person can have on the course of history. In conclusion, King Canute was a powerful and influential figure who left a lasting impact on the course of European history. His reign brought a period of stability and prosperity to England, Denmark, and Norway, and his legacy continues to inspire and captivate people today.